Hi, in this series of videos, you will learn how to build a Wordle clone in Flutter, the same one you see on screen now. You will put into practice a heap of core concepts, including laying out the UI, building a grid view, managing the state of the app, light and dark app themes, a variety of cool animations, data storage, charts, pop-up messages, and more. I'll start a brand new project and build from the ground up, so it's easy to follow along. Okay cool, let's get started. In this first video, let's build the layout for Wordle. So here we can see the layout is fairly simple. We have the heading up the top, we have the grid at the top center, and we have the keyboard down the bottom. So on screen is the example code with a new Flutter project. I will clean this up firstly. I'll remove everything from my home page down and clean up these comments here. I'll remove the primary swatch here. We'll be updating the theme shortly and I'll update the title to Wordle clone. I'm going to remove my home page and just replace that with a home page. And I'll create a new stateful widget and a new file. I'll right click on lib, new, dart file home page. In this new file I'll type STFUL tab shortcut for a new stateful widget and in here I will type home page. Right click on a widget with a red line show context actions and let's import the material. Back in the main let's reference that new file right click on home page and import. Okay so now let's do a hot restart and we are now returning a blank container. I also want to remove the debug banner at that top right. In the material app, I'll type D, select debug show check mode banner and set that to false. Cool, so that is gone. All right, so we now have the shell and we can now start building out the layout. I'll go to home page. First thing I'll do is replace the container with a scaffold which is a material widget, which is going to give us a whole lot of handy components to help us build out our layout. The first thing is, let's set a title. To do that, I'll use an app bar, and I'll type title and return a text, and I'll type in Wordle, do a hot reload, and we can see the scaffold and Wordle in the app bar. Let's center that text in app bar. I'll select center title, set that to true, our title is now centered. Let's also remove the shadow at the bottom of the app bar. Come down here, go elevation, set that to zero. Okay, cool, so that's looking a bit cleaner. All right, and we can see the colors don't match the theme of what we want, so we'll be updating the theme shortly. But firstly, let's build out the body. So down here in scaffold, I'll use body. And basically we need two sections. We have the grid area and the keyboard area. I will use a column to stack the widgets on top of each other and let's put in a couple of placeholder widgets, some containers, give them some placeholder colors. So for example, this color will be yellow, the color does not matter. I'll wrap this in an expanded, which will force its child to fill up all the available space. We'll divide that space among multiple children. Here I'll copy this and paste it so we have two children. Let's change the color. Do a hot reload and we can now see the body has been evenly divided. Now we can use the flex property to adjust these proportionally. I'll come in here, I'll set this as 7 and here I'll set this as 4. So here we have the top part is now proportionally bigger. Now that we have our basic UI shell done, we will build on this in the next video by using the grid view widget to lay out the square tiles in Wordle.